friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. We have already discussed how to find whether two fractions are equivalent or not. Before discussing a method to find out which of the fraction is greater, we need to discuss like and unlike fractions. Consider the example 1 by 7, 2 by 7, 3 by 7. In all these fractions, denominators are same, so they are called like fractions. Consider another example, 1 by 7, 2 by 5 and 1 by 8. If we compare these three fractions, they have different denominators. So they are called unlike fractions. Now if we want to compare the fraction among themselves and find out which is the greatest of them, then the one with the greater numerator is greater. That means 3 by 7 is greater than 2 by 7 and also 1 by 7. That would mean that 5 by 6 is greater than 3 by 6. And if we have to arrange these fractions in ascending order, it is very easy. 3 by 11 is the smallest one. 6 by 11 is greater than 3 by 11. And 9 by 11 is greater than 6 by 11. But how we will compare unlike fractions? We know that the denominators are not equal. Let us consider one example. Say we take 2 by 7 and 1 by 5 as the unlike fractions and we have to compare them. Then our motive will be to convert these unlike fractions into like fractions and then find which one is greater. So, our first step will be to find the LCM of the denominators for this example of 7 and 5. We know that LCM of 7 and 5 is 35. Our next step should be to find the equivalent fraction of both these fractions such that the denominator is 35. That is the LCM of the two denominators. So let us find the equivalent fraction of 2 by 7 such that the denominator is 35. To get that, we need to multiply numerator and denominator by 5. So 10 by 35 is the equivalent fraction of 2 by 7. To find equivalent fraction of 1 by 5 with 35 as denominator, we need to multiply numerator and denominator by 7. Hence 7 by 35 is the equivalent fraction of 1 by 5. It remains to compare the two like fractions. Clearly, 10 by 35 is greater than 7 by 35. This implies that 2 by 7 is greater than 1 by 5. If we are required to arrange the given three fractions into ascending order, firstly we can see that they are unlike fractions. So we will convert them into like fractions. 
let us take the lcm of 5 10 and 3 we get LCM equal to 5 into 2 into 3 which is equal to 30. Now let us find the equivalent fraction of each of them whose denominator should be 30. We have to multiply by 6. This becomes 12 by 30. Next one will become 9 by 30 and 1 by 3 will become 10 by 30. Now we can compare these three like fractions. So we have 9 by 30 is less than 10 by 30 which is less than 12 by 30. Or we can say by writing the corresponding fraction 3 by 10 is less than 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 is less than 2 by 5. Let us recall how to add two fractions. Consider the example 2 by 7 plus 4 by 7. Clearly, 2 by 7 and 4 by 7 are like fractions. We can easily add the numerators and we can get the required answer. That means to add like fractions, we just need to add the numerator and the denominator remains unchanged. Then how we will add? two unlike fractions. Say we take an example. If we have to add 2 by 3 plus 1 by 4, then firstly we will convert each of these fractions into like fractions by taking the LCM. Now we find the equivalent fraction of 2 by 3 whose denominator should be 12 that can be done by multiplying numerator and denominator by 4. So we get 2 by 3 equal to 8 by 12. Similarly, 1 by 4 will be equivalent to 3 by 12. Now we can easily add the two equivalent fractions 8 by 12 and 3 by 12 as they are like fractions, this will give us 11 by 12. So we have 2 by 3 plus 1 by 4 equal to 11 by 12. So for adding unlike fractions, we first convert them to like fractions and then add them. Then how do we subtract two fractions? Consider 5 by 7 minus 2 by 7. Clearly, both of them are like fractions. Denominator will remain same and we will subtract the numerators. We get 5 minus 2 equal to 3. That is, while subtracting two like fractions, we subtract the numerators but the denominator remains same. Let us see how we can subtract unlike fractions. Consider an example 2 by 3 minus 1 by 4. Clearly they are unlike fractions. So first let us take the LCM and convert them to like fractions. 2 by 3 will be equivalent to 
8 by 12 and 1 by 4 will be equivalent to 3 by 12. Now 8 by 12 minus 3 by 12 is equal to 5 by 12. So we have 2 by 3 minus 1 by 4 equal to 5 by 12. Hence for unlike fractions, we first convert them to like fractions and then we subtract. 